Like, why are you showing me a boat? It's not the boat that I want to share with you. It's that. Trucker Josh. He's got a dog named Diesel. Trucker Josh. We sometimes call him Weasel. All is fine up in the truck as you can tell. No need of sergeant there as well. Big Stop Restaurant. It's not a restaurant, it's a restaurant. This is where I spent the night here. We're on our way to Truro, Nova Scotia. Another like hour and a bit down the road. Not too far, we're no big rush, we can't unload until tomorrow morning. We don't unload on Sundays, so that's all right, whatever. We'll unload tomorrow morning and we're gonna head to the ferry. Are you guys ready for the ferry? We're going to be at the ferry tomorrow evening, or tomorrow afternoon. And depending, it is the busy season, I'm assuming, because it's summertime. Then again, school hasn't let out yet, has it? Maybe it has. When is school over? I don't know. Whenever it's actual summertime and everyone's on vacation, it's really busy going across on the ferry, and sometimes you got to wait there for a long time. I've heard of people waiting there like 36 hours. I've had to wait there over 24 hours before. Like well over 24. I think I did have to wait 36 hours. I think that was me. Yeah, sometimes it's just really, really busy. But I would much rather cross on the Marine Atlantic ferries during the summer than in the winter. Because in the wintertime, the ocean freezes and they have to break through the ice sometimes. And sometimes they get stuck for a long time. It's not Marine Atlantic's fault. It's not Mother Nature's fault. But I just would rather not be stuck on a boat in the middle of the ocean in the middle of minus 30. Just saying. Just saying. Bad enough i got to be on the ocean. and Everything in there wants to eat me. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to Marine Atlantic. We're going to be boarding your ferry tomorrow in the vlog, or tomorrow evening, hopefully, or the next day. We're going to be at the ferry tomorrow anyways. And uh, yeah, they follow me on Twitter, so I will tweet you when I'm on the way. Well, the fluids are checked. Eating breakfast, I periscoped you guys. Time to get on the road. I just wanted to give a special shout out to uh, Alan CB, who's a... Uh, Having a hard time at home right now. I just got a message from him and just want to say, hey, things will get better. Thinking about you. Hope you have a great day. Well, we got to pay a toll here to get into Nova Scotia. If it hasn't changed, it's $15. Whoa. All right, we're going to go on the right side here. I need to pay in cash. I don't have their e-pass. They should just use easy pass. Right, here we go. Let's see how much they want. Oh, yeah. Hello. Okay, thank you. Fifteen Canadian dollars. Fifteen dollars. So don't forget, if you drive into Nova Scotia, you need fifteen dollars in the truck. In a car, it's a lot less. We are about to leave New Brunswick and enter Nova Scotia. You see on the left here, the first flags, flags in New, New Brunswick. The second flags there, flags in Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. Thank you. The most Atlantic mainland province of Canada. Right here. And the scale is closed too. What a good day. Oh boy. That's a good sign. Monday morning. Hey guys, it's Monday morning. We just delivered our stuff. Our last delivery on the mainland. We're now on our way to the ferry. Are you guys ready for the ferry? You're gonna board the ferry with me tomorrow. 
unless if something goes wrong and we have to wait till the next day. But we'll be at the ferry tomorrow. Are you guys excited? I always ask you that. I never know if you're excited or not. I always just assume that you're just as excited as I am, just like bouncing in your seat up and down, clapping, clapping. Yay, ferry, ferry, ferry. Is that what you're doing? That's what you're doing right now, isn't it? Stop it. You look silly. So we are going to be leaving Truro here right now. We're in Truro, Nova Scotia. And uh, headed towards the ferry. We are, oh, 300 kilometers away from the ferry. So we had yesterday off. Uh, I got a lot of stuff done around the truck here. I uh, got some videos done, caught up, and I figured I would continue on with today with the delivery. And I'll probably bring us up to halfway to the ferry. And then tomorrow, we will arrive there together. How about that? How about that? Should we get back on the road? You guys want to see what Nova Scotia looks like from the highway? You want to see what the roads look like out here? All right, I'll show you. All right, so you talked me into it. This is Truro, Nova Scotia. T-R-U-R-O. Truro. It's very much like all the other cities around North America, but it's in Nova Scotia, so it's special. going about their business doing their thing oh Canadian Tire oh I could, I could spend some money in there if I wanted to watch it watch it risky risky in 350 meters take ramp on right to highway 102 north we've lost the four lane divided I think for good now until we get to the ferry. Looking for a Timmy. The Timmy's would be great right now. I must have passed one. I thought there was one around here. I think I must have passed it. This is the road that goes up into northern uh, Nova Scotia and to the ferry. This is actually the Trans Canada. Trans-Canada is one highway that goes from one end of the country all the way to the other. Right now we're on the east end. Very scenic out here. Very, how many of you have been here? How many of you live in Nova Scotia? You're growing up as a kid. It's not that we didn't no Nova Scotia and New Brunswick and all these maritime provinces were out here, but they were so far away geographically from Manitoba that, you know, they didn't cross your mind that often. They were like oh, the, those maritime provinces, you know, places you go on vacation. Now coming out here, I was like, wow, it is really nice out here. We just got to go ahead to clear or bypass this scale. Out here in Eastern Canada, you drive over preliminary scales on the highway and then there's a sign that tells you whether or not you got to go in and scale or not. And this time the sign said that we can go right past. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Didn't want to talk to you anyway. Gotta go across this little land bridge here. I forget what this little town is called here. It's a pretty big one actually. A lot of history around this area too. I mean, this is the easternmost part of uh, the mainland of uh, North America. And most of you count, yeah, well, Newfoundland is the easternmost point, but it's an island, right? A lot of good fishing around here. A lot of Scottish heritage out here. Irish. I believe the flag of Nova Scotia is even sort of similar to the flag of Scotland, if I'm correct. This is Cape Breton, that's what it is. It says it here on the bridge, Cape Breton. Welcome to Cape about. Breton. Take second exit to Trans-Canada Highway. Right here, you'll 
you'll see a flag flying. That's the flag of Nova Scotia. That's what I was talking about there. It's like a white flag with a blue cross on it. Take second exit to Trans Canada Highway. It's really the opposite from the Scottish flag, I think, right? Keep left on Trans Canada Highway. Left, okay. That's confusing. Drive 138 kilometers on Trans Canada Highway. 138 kilometers to the ferry. We are almost at the ferry. We stopped at this Ultramar here. It's on uh, First Nations Reserve. There's a few of reserves that we passed through on the way up to North Sydney. I'm not too sure what this one's called. That's the name of the reserve we're on here. Wagmatukuk. 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 Very nice people here. I went to the store there and I talked to them. It was very nice people. Very nice little community here. So I see even got a nice little church over there. Nice little houses. They got some more houses over here. Very nice, very nice. Nice little store they got going on here. Yeah. There's uh, many reserves in Manitoba as well. I've been on quite a few of them actually because uh, I used to deliver locally in Manitoba and I'd have to take the product onto the reserves there. So I got to see firsthand a lot of the southern Manitoba, southeastern Manitoba reserves there. Look at the little boat. Look at him go. Look at him go. I wanted to share this with you. Like, why are you showing me a boat? It's not the boat that I want to share with you. It's that. Nova Scotia. Isn't that amazing? I'm just about to periscope here. I'm gonna show you guys all this in live Periscope. So if you guys follow me on Periscope there, you will have already seen this, but this will be just a little treat and a reminder. Look at, they got like a little land bridge over there and whatnot, whatever that is. Isn't that awesome? Well, there's a road there. Where does that road go? It stops right there. I guess there's a ferry there that takes you across. Huh? That is amazing, eh? I'm just hanging off my truck here trying to get you guys the best shot because that's what I do. I'm always thinking about you. <laughs> I want to get as high as possible, but man, I can't get enough of this. Absolutely amazing. And I'm up here on the highway, just on this little pullout here. A little scenic lookout. We are very close to the ferry. We're only like 20 minutes from the ferry. I won't be boarding till the earliest, like probably midnight tonight, but we'll see. Let's see what happens. We're gonna end off today's vlog here in Cape Breton. We're just a little ways away from North Sydney where the ferry is gonna be, but we're gonna save that for tomorrow. Gotta have something to look forward to, right? So I'll see you then. Go down below to the description, find the links that I have there for you. They take you to my social media. Go, go to my Facebook page, give it a like if you want to. If you want to be friends, you can go to my own Facebook page. The link is down below as well. There, it's a variety of topics that I talk about because it's my own Facebook, right? And uh, the Trucker Josh Facebook is related to this channel. And here you can find my Instagram, Twitter. You'll see it all down there. Go to the truckerjosh.com. You can find everything you need to. All my different things. You can go to my store. Online. You guys don't look up. I'll see you tomorrow after 4 a.m.